It is the wish of every parent to educate their children in a school that would provide opportunities for the child to grow holistically, become someone who can help themselves and the society in the future. Every single parent ensures that their children go to the school where all these can happen. That is why, as a parent, when you're looking for a school, you have a number of things that you look for or things that you consider for you to decide which school to take your child. In Kenya, there are a number of schools that people think are the schools that their children should go to. Some schools are seen as prestigious schools, while other schools are seen as low-class schools. What defines a good school? I'm about to take you for a journey that will show you what it means to take a child to a good school. Welcome to my journey of Our Lady of Mercy Girls School. Our Lady of Mercy Girls School is a girls boarding secondary school that is located in Tharaka Navy County where they say it's heaven of value addition. The school is also located inside a very good saline environment which will make you feel like you are in the best part of this country's nature. It is one of the schools that is so close to one of the best tertiary institutions in this country that is Chuka University. This school is a Catholic sponsored school and according to the principal Madam Catherine Motembe, the history of this school is amazing. Uh, my name is Catherine Kenanu Mutembe, Senior Principal, Our Lady of Mercy Girls High School Magondo, in short, Olom Girls. Olom Girls is an extra county public girls school sponsored by the Catholic Church. It is treated in Mithiruwond, Mahara sub county, in the Rakanithi county. It is a pure girls school currently with a population of 1087 students or boarders, 50 teachers and 30 members of non-teaching staff. Due to the high population of over 1000 students, the school is manned by two deputies, one in charge of administration the second in charge of academics. The two deputies are Madam Lucy Ntwega and Madam Stera Kubani. High School Magondo was started in 1974 as a mixed uh, school. Later in 1976, the boys were harnessed to Mudambi boys and the school was grown as a girls boarding school. The agenda of Lady of Mercy Girls, we're in 26. I've worked as a deputy principal in the school for over six years and later took over in 2014 as, a, as the principal of the school. By then, the school and a population of 594 students. Over the years, the school has grown from a county school to an extra county school in 2019 with now the current population of 1,087 students. By the time I took over the school and uh, shortages in infrastructure, we had inadequate laboratories, inadequate classrooms, inadequate dormitories, but over the years we've grown the same infrastructure to the current situation. When I took over also as the principal of the school, the teachers were 13 TSC teachers, but over the years, the school has grown to a population of over 50 TSC teachers. During my tenure as the principal, from 2014 September to date, the major infrastructure that we've grown in the school include uh, a story laboratory building that houses three laboratories, nine classrooms, and a major uh, dormitory that houses so many students. A 
our lady of mercy girls is a girls school that has a very uh, conducive learning environment with enough facilities learning facilities over the years we've grown the school in different areas we have adequate water for the high population we have power backups that includes a 45 kV generator we have uh, over time improved our shamba that is our school shamba where we grow fruits we rear chicken we rear pigs uh, dairy cows that provide nutrients for the students that also help us to uh, to save on the school uh, monies our school population is drawn from all over the country we have students from the coastal region from western kenya majority of the students coming from nairobi and its environs and in almost every county in kenya we have students that join us every year yangu naitwa Immaculate Shume kutoka kaunti ya Kilifi na niko kidato cha nne shule ya Lady of Mercy Shule hii kivyangu mimi niliona shule hii kwa sawa eh, kusema kweli wanafunzi wanasoma katika hii shule na ukifika hapo ukifuata lilo kuleta hapa kama mwanafunzi ukisoma kwa bidii na kufuata kanuni za shule mtu huwa anapita My name is Aket Chachuerior Uh, currently, a form for student in Our Lady of Mercy Girls High School. I'm from South Sudan. I'm by the name Tabitha Amor. Currently in Form One, a South Sudanese student from Juba. Uh, being a foreigner doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is uh, just pursue your studies and focus on the future. Uh, when you want to say that you love the school in South Sudanese, you say that you are near school. Can It's good to note that uh, our little mass girls has that high population and also students from all over the country because of the performance of the school, the discipline of the school and the conducive learning environment. We also involve our parents in the academic growth of our daughters or their daughters. That is through academic clinics, parents' days where they come and uh, be with their daughters. We also have parents meetings so that we discuss uh, the programs of the school, the progress of the school. When the students in form 1 join us, we shall have a parents orientation day where they are taken through the programs of the school, whatever the school has as safety measures for their girls. And some of them that we have that have always made our parents feel very comfortable is the biometrics that informs them when the students report back to school and when the students leave school. We also have the CCTV cameras that are fixed in every part of the school that monitors the discipline of the students, that monitors the activities of the students, the teaching staff and the non-teaching staff. This ensures a very conducive environment of learning for the students. And therefore our parents parents are very comfortable with that, that system and they've always congratulated the school management for the same as a school we are very concerned about our students while in school and also outside school that is why for those that travel far from school that is in Nairobi Mombasa and the western uh, counties we have organized transport like we ferry over seven buses of students to Nairobi where they dropped at Green Park in Nairobi for their parents to pick them. On opening days, the same program is repeated where the parents just uh, pay a little fare. We hire buses for them. The students are brought to Uhuru Park in Nairobi and then they are picked from that particular spot. This ensures that when you release your daughter from home, you are assured of our safety back to school. I would also wish to echo that our little Masi girls Magundu is a cost-effective school that is run under the ministerial guidelines of the government. Fees is within the government guidelines and there are no extra costs in this particular school. Therefore, for any parent, it is an affordable school. I'm the deputy principal in charge of academics 
in our end of Massey Girls Secondary School Magondo. I am in charge of the programs, the academic programs that are done in the school. I prepare and monitor all those programs that go on in the school. We have uh, a very uh, good team of uh, teachers who are in charge of uh, departments and these teachers have uh, enabled us to uh, move on very well in academics and that is why we have reached the level where we are due to their support. My name is Francis Mbiu. I'm a proud of Mercy Girls Central School and I'm the Dean of Studies in our school. Also the Dean is uh, comprising of curriculum implementation in the school right from uh, timetabling of the block timetable to timetabling of the exams and remedial classes. The Office of the Dean is very critical in the school in that it is the core mandate of every school and of our school to ensure that every student does her best in terms of academics. We have a variety of subjects in our school, 13 subjects that make examines, the three compulsory ones, the sciences, the humanities, and the technicals are computer studies that's done very well in our school. We have agriculture, we have business studies, and we have French. Our school is very unique in that it offers the best in terms of curriculum implementation. We provide a very good environment for studies. We have over 50 teachers, TSE teachers, in our school to ensure that every student gets the best from our teachers. The government has given us textbooks and they are enough. And more so, we have uh, made online learning a core mandate in our school because we have got Wi-Fi in our school. We feed results online. The parents can view their daughter's progress at the comfort of their home through their mobile phones because everything has been made online. Still, uh, <coughs> through the Wi-Fi uh, in our school, the teachers can download materials and teach them very well using the online activities that we offer in our school. Uh, my name is Henry Muturi Mwaura and I'm the HOD co-curricular department in Our Lady of Mercy Girls Secondary School. Uh, this is a, a very powerful department uh, with very many successes and also on the other hand with very many challenges as we try uh, to make sure that our students are growing both academically, they are growing spiritually, they are also growing physically. Um, in this department, we offer a variety of activities. There are those which are competitive, there are those which are not competitive, or they are not meant for competition. If I may start with the competitive activities, uh, in this department we participate in games. Uh, we have a variety of ball games, for example, handball, netball, basketball, uh, we have hockey. And we have competed to very high levels. We have reached even regional levels in ball games. We also offer racket games uh, like lawn tennis, uh, badminton, table tennis. And we have also reached uh, up to regional level. We, have also, we also offer swimming. Swimming, we have gone up to national level. Uh, when it comes to science fair and engineering, we have competed also up to the national level. Uh, we have also competed in drama and music and all the years that have passed since I've been here, that is back in 2009. Since then, uh, we, have, we have been able to reach up to the national level almost every year, year in, year out. Now, as the HOD, it is my desire to see this uh, department grow to greater heights. 
For example, I would say that in all the disciplines that we are participating, we try to undertake perfection. We try to get good coaches such that our teams are not only defeated at the zonal levels, most of them, or almost all of them, they proceed up to the highest level that is the national. And if they can, they even go to the East African region and beyond. Uh, I would also desire that uh, I also widen up the scope of nurturing students in terms of talents. I'm happy that within my department, I've exposed the students to talent such like modeling, dancing, and I'm proud to say this far, we have had even uh, some of our students competing for crowds like Miss Campus, uh, and Mount Kenya Campus, uh, which was won by our student, Miss Darakanidhi, a uh, tourism model, uh, it was one of our students. And also we have so many students who have excelled even outside. We have a student who is doing modeling and designing in Germany. So it is my desire to continue also uh, nurturing this talent so that our students are able to become exposed internationally. My name is Moi Ann Daisy. I'm a Form 4 student in Our Lady of Mercy. I am currently holding the title for Miss Alum. I've been here for uh, actually four years. Now I've liked the school. It is so friendly. It has a very good environment for learning. Even the students and the teachers are kind to others. There's a very great environment for studying in Our Lady of Mercy. Let's talk about talents. What kind of talents are found in Olo? In Our Lady of Mercy, we have so much talents that we see each and every time from our fellow students. Uh, we have so students who are artists, they are better drawers, students, some students who are perfect in games, some are perfect in dancing, and they are, they, we are given a chance in our school to showcase these talents. Our school gives us an opportunity whereby by that time we, we have the cultural day. There we are able to showcase our different talents then we are able to pick those who are best in those talents and we give some titles like mine I got it from modeling and I got the title Miss Olom. Another thing is I would like the community, the world, to know who Our Lady of Mercy Girls is and what we are able to do. So on that note, we are in the process of also uh, showcasing uh, some of our talents on the YouTube, on the internet, uh, which I believe is going to go a long way in uplifting the image of our school and also uh, talent search for our students. Maybe we never know, somebody along the way or watching the, the YouTube will come across such a talent and the student is able to benefit from that. Okay, I'm Madam Frida Kaduri, in charge of boarding department. Our Lady of Mercy Girls Secondary School. So in boarding department, actually, we talk over the dorms, the classes, and even the dining hall. My responsibility as the boarding mistress in Our Lady of Mercy Girls is uh, to ensure that uh, the students are comfortable in the school, uh, bearing that uh, they have to stay here longer. So we look at uh, their, where they sleep, that is uh, the dorms. We look at where they eat from. We also look at uh, where they learn from so that we ensure that um, the school is uh, conducive for their studies. Uh, the boarding department in Our Lady of Mercy has ensured that uh, the students' safety is well looked into in terms of, um, in terms of where they sleep, there is no congestion, we got enough water running in the school. We also have a number of teachers in charge of the boarding department as a committee whereby in each and every dorm uh, we got a mother or a father uh, in charge of that dorm. We also have uh, uh, secretaries in charge of the dorms, whereby uh, in case of anything they report to the boarding mistress. In, in Our Lady of Mercy Girls uh, Secondary School, we ensure that uh, the girls are displayed. In terms of uh, discipline, we have uh, a number of things that we look into. We work hand in hand with the school administration, we ensure that the girls are reporting things that comes to them uh, that is not really um, good in the dorms and they, we, we are comfortable that uh, the administration assists us in doing that. 
In our Lady of Mercy Girls Secondary School, uh, we ensure that uh, our students are safe. In the dorms, we got our dorms uh, area which is fenced and it has got uh, a number of uh, cameras. We also have the security. The security of the school is on high notch, whereby you find that uh, we have surveillance of uh, our security men even at night. On the other hand, uh, you find that uh, we also have uh, biometrics which notify every parent in case their daughters leave the school. Uh, you receive a message that um, your daughters left the school and in case uh, they come back, they also still uh, notify the parents that their children are in school. What about uh, the diets? What can you comment about the diets? In our Lady of Mercy Girls Secondary School, we have ensured that we give our students a very balanced diet whereby you find that uh, the students take uh, fruits uh, twice per week. They also have um, a system whereby we give them uh, everything that is required in the dining hall. More to that, you find that uh, in our dining hall, we use the cafeteria whereby every student uh, take their meal and these meals are supervised by the teachers together with the school cutters. In case a parent wants to bring a student in Our Lady of Mercy, uh, I as the boarding mistress would like to inform them that uh, this is one of the best schools in the county. The reason is uh, that uh, we have got a number of infrastructures in the school. We got uh, actually nine dorms in the school whereby we uh, accommodate over a thousand students. We also have uh, a number of uh, teaching staff which is um, a big number and is able to cater for the students. So in case our parents want to bring a child in Our Lady of Mercy, we encourage them to do so. Uh, my name is Doreen Lache. Uh, reading the Department of Guidance and Counseling in the Our Lady of Mercy Girls High School. In this Department of Guidance and Counseling, we uh, identify students who have challenges and we are able to bring them closer so that we can uh, help them overcome the challenges that they have in their studies so that they can perform well. This department is very helpful to the school because uh, once these girls come to us, immediately we identify maybe their performance is not good and they, we are able to talk to them and walk to them step by step and in working to, with them they are able to improve their performance. In this department I don't work alone, we have a committee which is made up of around 10 teachers where all of us uh, get to at least have one or two students on daily basis where we talk to individual students. I can say we have been able to reach uh, needy students in the school and uh, in reaching these needy students we have been able to help them overcome this problem and they have been able to perform well. The school has really supported us because uh, they normally take the teachers to the workshop where we are trained and also we have been able to train uh, students. We have a club that we call Peer Counseling Club where we also train the students and these students help us reach more students so that we can help them. Okay, the, one of the main challenges that we have is that at times uh, we have students who normally don't, are not ready to open up. So when they come to us, they are not ready to open up. Uh, the other thing is, uh, due to the curriculum that we, are, we have right now, there is a shortage of time. So we are forced to cancel large groups. So we are not, be, uh, we are not able to meet our students one by one. My name is Jenga Kirato, currently the head of Department Language and Library Services at Our Lady of Mercy Girls High School, and I teach Kiswahili. So the language department is basically about Kiswahili and English. 
These are the two instructional languages uh, in the school. And they're also the core subjects that must be done well by every student who expects to do a good course in the future. The responsibility of the department is to ensure that our students do well in both English and Kiswahili because these two subjects will be needed now and in the future. Take an example of English. English is used not just as a subject, but it is also an instructional language in the other subjects, be it mathematics, chemistry, biology, all of them will need the English. Our performance is quite good, I must say. Not the best, but it's quite good. Right now we are at a performance of 6.5 in Kiswahili. English we are at around 5.8, 5.5 that is, but we are aiming for better results in the future. We've been, uh, we've started organizing internal symposiums, competitions uh, between our students, between the forms. We are also ensuring that our students intermingle or come into contact with the KCSC questions so that they are able to familiarize themselves with what they will expect in the, in the exam. What we are doing currently, we've given our students a chance to compete in a national writing competition. That is what we are currently doing. But going into the future, we are looking at uh, enrolling for the National Debaters Contest, but we are yet to get there. But this year, we've given our students our ch a chance to, uh, to write a composition or an insha about my hero. It is a national competition. And uh, therefore, probably later alone, we can give you feedback on the same. Our major achievement has been uh, the consistent good results in both English and Kiswahili over the years. As I've stated, we are currently at a mean of six point, but we are hoping to hit eight point in the future. And therefore, that is one of the main achievements that we are proud of as a department. Number two, uh, another achievement is that we have quite a well-equipped library, and it is of service to both the students and the teachers. We have clubs that are helping us uplift the use of both English and Kiswahili. That is the Journalism Club, we have Okumbi Wasana for Kiswahili, and the Debating Club. These are clubs that we are fostering or ensuring that students uh, have the right use of the language. Another achievement that we have as a department is that the school has been able to give us enough teachers. The school has more than enough teachers for both English and Kiswahili. I would uh, tell the parent that the first of all they've brought their, their kid to the right place. The right place because as I have started by mentioning, we have enough teachers. That is to mean this student will be in the hands of a specific teacher from Form 1 to Form 4. Meaning, this student will have the chance to grow in the language because this teacher will cultivate the reading, uh, the reading habits, the good reading habits in both English, that is in English and also in Kiswahili. And uh, by the time this student is coming to Form 4, the student can communicate fluently, both in written and spoken language. Because they'll be given a chance, first of all, to speak either to themselves, speak to other students, speak in the assemblies, and this will give them a chance to, uh, to fine-tune their language skills. Any parent who brings a student to a lady of mercy can be assured of good performance in the languages be it even if the student is not very good either in the spoken or the written language we shall ensure that we have fine-tuned uh, the use of language in this student we shall give them the chance to debate we shall give them the chance to be leaders in discussion groups and this will grow their language skills my name is Ivan Skaimeni, the head of department humanities in Our Lady of Mercy Girls High School. Basically, the Humanities Department deals with majorly three subjects, that is uh, History, Geography, and CRE. Over the years, uh, this department has been on top in terms of performance, and it has been consistent uh, for several years. And uh, we believe as a department in working as a team. And uh, we have a very vibrant team very energetic young and old uh, teachers who dispatch their duty with due diligence and actually with minimum supervision. And uh, that we have realized is the common goal that we have as a department. Uh, over the years, we've been uh, posting exemplary performance and uh, the subjects have been perceived as the top when it comes to the school mean and that has always been like that. And we have upheld 
that kind of a, a, a commitment to ensure at least we build the foundation of the learners while they're in school. Uh, my name is Mofa Tondari. Uh, I'm a teacher, mathematics and chemistry at Our Lady of Mercy, and also in charge of uh, mathematics department and career guidance and mentorship. Uh, as an, the head of the department, we work on planning, coordinating, supervising, coming up with uh, ideas, strategies, and on how best we can implement for the best interest of the runners in the school. Uh, on the positive attitude, first uh, we have tried to engage our teachers so that we talk to the girls first so that they can uh, realize that we are here for them and apart from not only teaching we try to mentor them so that they can be able to realize we mean good for them and uh, in the process we put this mathematics in a manner that they will see the need and the importance of studying it uh, as a school and as a department, there are few measures that have been put in place. Uh, for example, we run extra mile teaching lessons to ensure that we harness what the students have learned during the normal learning. Uh, at the end of every topic, for example, we carry out an assessment across all the classes. At the same time, we have what we call a maths hour, which is uh, done during the weekend, where students are engaged in group activities, discussions, and uh, peer teaching. And at the same time, there is a uh, monitoring done by the teachers. And also to our candidates, we run what we call a uh, cycle cards, which are done at topical level to assist the students who maybe have forgot what they learned in Form 1, Form 2 and Form 3. And at some point we also hold what we call cashers, where we run from uh, evening to midnight, which are guided discussion activities, and also internal symposia, and also external, together with the uh, contests. Uh, we can say the department has been uh, supported to a good percentage by the school. The staffing has been done by the administration to a good number, to a tune of 17 teachers in the department, which is a positive side and uh, there is a diversity as a result because we, are, we can have uh, a great pool of teachers with experience, there is the young and the old, and at the same time it gives us room to practice team teaching, which is very important. At the departmental level there are some challenges, like uh, we have a few number of ladies in that department. So at times they tend to perceive that maybe this subject is meant for the other gender. And uh, number two, another challenge we are facing is uh, in the modern world, students have got divided attention towards academics and the social life. And mathematics requires continuous practice to enhance retention. And in the process, with the shortened term dates, the retention rate has been affected by majority of our students who are average learners and as they go home mostly they embark on uh, their social life and as a result when they get back to school as teachers we find it hard to again reteach and even do a lot to ensure that they get back to what they are supposed to be in line with. Uh, in career guidance as part of a uh, it forms the integral part of what the learner uh, is required to, to understand while in school. Uh, we guide students on how to identify 
there are areas of specialization in the future starting with as early as form one they get we get to guide them on how to identify their interest their areas of strength so that even as they proceed to form two they can be in a position to choose subjects and uh, uh, seek more guidance from even the parents their mentors even from their teachers so that by the time they do the subject selection they do it in line with what they wish to pursue in the future and at the same time we expose them to external speakers who get into the school to address and even give more on what we may not be able to to offer in the school for example the KU CCPS board we do invite a member from there who comes to talk to our candidates and we also do career guidance and uh, application for the candidate students during the first application. Career guidance has enabled us to work on a number of students who at some point were just learning for the sake of it. Some were just saying uh, we are learning after that we can now be able to know what to do from there but for the last one or two years uh, we have managed to create kind of a, a paradigm shift from where students were really struggling to understand what it entails in career choice and even after form four we have had students who were advised on what to do in terms of career even when their grades did not fit what they wanted. For instance, in the last two years, we have had students qualifying for university, but they opt to go for diploma because they were guided and told, even if you don't meet the university requirement, you can still pursue your career starting from diploma. So some hope to start from diploma level, even if they had university entry, so that later on they can make it to their goal. I'm Kibet Hezron, HOD Science. Uh, I hold a bachelor degree in Education Science, specializing in Mass and Biology. Uh, I was, I was chosen by the school administration after them seeing my work. Uh, Olom is a good school where in science we have several achievements. Uh, personally, my achievement since I entered this office, I have pushed the office and the administration have really supported that science by giving us resources like we have a, a projector where we usually uh, teach students using projector and also we have so many teaching aid and uh, also we have a well-equipped uh, laboratory where we have a, a physics lab and three chemistry biology lab which is very modern lab with three uh, with three uh, lab technician we have been performing well in this school in science uh, having a total number of 15 plus teachers who teach science and they are specialized in helping students. Uh, performance of science, we, be, we have been having positive deviation since the year 2019. We have been recording uh, positive deviation in all the subject that is chemistry, physics, and biology. Uh, we have produced in the recent year uh, many students who have specialized in medics and science career. Again, uh, we have uh, what we call a science club where our student, our science students usually meet uh, to plan uh, about science and also usually attend what we call the science symposium and also the science fair. Uh, we have a, a supportive principal who have really been supporting science. He's, uh, she's one of us. And uh, we have a good student who are disciplined and focus on science. Our teachers, have applied team teaching in order to bring up uh, the performance that we have uh, been experiencing recently and engaging our students in so many exams and cuts. As science department, 
I would like to take this opportunity to thank uh, our EBO principal with the administration for really supporting us. Uh, Olom is a good place, especially for science. I would like also to appreciate all the team teaching of our science teachers who have been with us, ensuring that all the school program have been followed. We ensure and we want to promise the school administration and the parents that we are going to strive and come up with strategy that we are going to meet in order to make Olom to be a center of excellence as our motto say. My name is Yvonne Mothoni. I'm currently in Form 4. I joined Our Lady of Mercy in 2020. I am the current school president, head of the school student council. Uh, actually, Our Lady of Mercy is one of the best schools in the Rakhine. Our Lady of Mercy feels like home. It's a rare, it has a very cool environment. It's a rare place to find in many schools. Our Lady of Mercy is very much disciplined. The students are cooperative. It's a rare place to find. They provide us. We have a serene environment for our studies. We have all the state-of-the-art facilities. We have the labs for the computer students, the science labs where we carry out our science. Uh, our Lady of Mercy have good, we have perfect dorm areas, so our sleep is good. We have very good meals. Our body department is perfect. It's, we have a, a school library, that is where we can go and study. We have the, our 50 teachers, like certified teachers who, are, who give their best to us. They do their work perfectly. Uh, we are privileged to have an administration that suits us with their balanced diet. One, we've got the bakery where we make our bread. We are provided bread by the school. Actually, we bake our own bread, which is very, very, very nice and sweet tasting. We also have our school posho meal, where we meal our own maize from our own chamber. In our school chamber, we also get the fruits, such as the passion fruit, which we take on the weekends. On Tuesdays, we take the bananas. We are actually even privileged to have a poultry farm, where we have all sorts of birds, mostly the chickens. We are provided with the chicken meat. We also have pork. We have very delicious pork here, actually. As a matter of fact, our school provides us with fresh milk where we get it from our cows. The same cows we get beef from there, which we take on mostly on the Fridays and the Mondays. We also have our school fish pod that provides us with the fish. We mostly take the fish, we take the fish on the first terms and the second terms, but on the third terms they are breeding, so we don't take them. As we have seen, Our Lady of Mercy is a very special school that provides us with actually the best meals as they are provided in the five-star hotels. At Our Lady of Mercy, we have a well-constituted student council of 47 council members. Our school help us helps us practice our democratic rights. This also prepares by participating in the election of our own leaders. This prepares us for our future responsibilities in practicing our democratic rights as we are soon becoming the Kenyan citizens. For mothers and fathers out there looking for a good school for their daughters, we humbly request that you give us a girl and we give you back a lady of substance.